just at my cranber site. It's about poking through these hives. Um, a couple here with the telltale signs of chalk brood. So you can see, see those gray white mummies just at the front of the hive. Um, bees have been tossing them out. Some of them have gone a bit mouldy because of the wet weather. So just gonna duck into these couple of hives and um, see how bad it is. And um, you may think about reducing these from a double um, back to a single. So that's the objective of today and um, see how we go. Just get down to this hive and have a look at this brood box. It's not overly strong, so it may go back down to a single, depending on what we find in here. Just loosen these frames off. Super off. It's not particularly heavy. We'll just get down to this brood box. Um, yeah, they aren't really covering all these frames, so I suspect we'll get it down to a down to a single. We'll just see how bad this chalk brood is first. This is a hive that I've requeened during the summer. Pollen. It's interesting. Big centipede in the hive. Out you go, mate. More pollen. Bit of pollen on cat brood. Doesn't look too bad. I can see a lot of mummies on the on the floor of the brood box here. Chalk brood in that frame. It doesn't look too bad. Queen cage. Not a great brood pattern, um, just not a great queen, obviously. There she is there, wandering around. I'll just grab her, decide what I'm gonna do with her. Nice and safe in there. Bit of a look at them. That's a really crappy brood pattern there. It's another hive, I really wonder whether it's worth persevering with them. We might try something. So that's nothing in that. That's a bit of pollen in it. And you know, a bit of pollen as well. All we might do is just try and pack these down into um, into a single. The first thing I'll do is just give this bottom board a bit of a clean up. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see those chalk brood mummies on the bottom of the hive there. We'll just take this over and um, and um, get rid of that stuff over in the trees, just so it's not not recontaminating the bees all the time. Those, run those bees into that super and give it a clean up. So that's tidied that bottom board up a bit. We'll see if we can pack them down into a single and just make, make things a bit more comfortable for them. So there's a bit of brood in that. And a tiny little bit of brood in that. Some a bit of pollen, so they've got all they need there. You know, some pollen in that, I think we'll take that home. So we'll just... Um, Find here. We'll get a few frames of honey. Nice big frame of honey. Come back. honey. Mm. A big frame of honey there.
So that's them reduced to a single. Let that queen go. Clearly not a great queen. Um, we'll just see how this hive goes. It'll get moved from this side as well, which will help get out. So, just shake the balance of these bees back out. So that's back to a single. Um, see how they go. They may even need, um, you know, a hive like this may even need to have a couple of frames taken out in the frame, free to put in and feed them a bit of um, uh, sugar syrup just to liven them up a bit. You can just stimulate them a little bit to clean that hive up. It looks like they've got over the worst of the chalk brood, but um, if that queen isn't um, doesn't have the genetics to deal with it, then should have to go anyway so if we can just nurse this hive through the winter um, and split it into split it into three nukes or something and just put some better queen cells in it and just make use of those frames rather than trying to keep those genetics going <laughs> 